Some celebrities are extremely open about their lives, while others are more private. Whichever it is, there are so many interesting facts we don't know about some of them. So let's have a look. Which celebrity is named after a department store? Who grew up living in a hotel instead of a house? And it's all about fingers with these celebs. Because of the notebook, Ryan Gosling forever will stay a heartthrob in many people's hearts. To add to his heartthrob status, he's part of a band, a band Dead Man's Bones, that has only ever released one album, but it still must count. Not many Hollywood actors are part of an actual band. Well, another one is Johnny Depp, who is part of Hollywood Vampires, but there might be a debate on his heartthrob status. And speaking of Johnny Depp, the world is a really small place. Bear with us, let us explain. Johnny's ex, no, not that one. Mother of his children, Vanessa Pardis, used to date singer Lenny Kravitz, who had just separated from his wife and mother of his child, Lisa Bonnet, who later started relationship and married Jason Momoa, who in turn made this movie, Aquaman, with his co-star Amber Heard, who referred to him as her little brother, and who is Johnny Depp's ex. Yeah, that one. Like we said, the world is a small place, for some roles, actors need to learn a skill, like horse riding or juggling. I bet Charles Dance wishes he could have learnt juggling. Instead he had to learn how to skin an actual dead stag for his role as Tywin Lannister in Game of Thrones. Actress Jennifer Lawrence was just as unlucky, having to learn how to skin squirrels for her role in Winter's Bone. I'm not sure which one I'd choose if I had to. Emma Stone took an unusual route in convincing her parents to let her pursue an acting career. Any guesses what she did? She did a PowerPoint presentation, of course. She said this to explain her bizarre choice. My dad's a businessman, so I think maybe I grew up thinking presentations were a good way to get your point across, instead of just sitting down and having a conversation. We know Leighton Meester best from her role as Blair in Gossip Girls. But unlike Blair's, her start in life was less glamorous and sounds like a plot from a movie. Her parents, Constant and Douglas, were involved in a drug ring trying to smuggle marijuana from Jamaica to the US, but were caught and along with her maternal aunt and grandfather, imprisoned. Her mother was allowed to deliver Leighton in a hospital and nurse her in a halfway home for three months before handing her over to her paternal grandparents and serving the rest of her 16 month sentence. Her mother's sister, Aunt Judy, managed to escape prison and become the first woman in the United States to get on US Marshall's 15 Most Wanted list. I wonder when they'll make a movie from this scenario. Some actors like to help their kids' acting careers by getting them small roles in their movies. Actor Dustin Hoffman, who played Captain Hook in the Hook movie, managed not only to get his daughter Rebecca Hoffman a small cameo role as Jane in Ole, but also his son Jake Hoffman, Little League player role. But surprisingly, they weren't the only two actors' children on set. Actress Blythe Danner's daughter, Gwyneth Paltrow, also had a small role, playing young Wendy Darling. Rebel Wilson is known for her comedies, but turns out the reason she became an actress sounds as if it's out of a comedy. We would laugh if it wasn't this serious. The then teen went on a trip to South Africa, where unluckily she contracted malaria. And while receiving life-saving treatment, the drug given to her caused her to hallucinate. And in her hallucinations, she was giving an acceptance speech that was more like an acceptance rap for an Oscar. Oh well, she survived, we can laugh. Coming home after school or park and your parents opening the front door with a key was the norm for all of us growing up. But not for Carrie Mulligan, who found it so odd when her parents bought their first house when she was eight and opened the front door with a key instead of a swipe card, because that's what Mulligan was used to. Having been born in London and staying in the Mayfair at the start of her life, and then moving across Europe with her family, and staying in luxury hotels for her dad's work, her perception of normal was being part of the hotel and befriending maids and residents. Former Bond girl Gemma Arterton, her dad and grandfather all have one thing in common. They were all born with six fingers on each hand, the doctor who delivered her tied the extra fingers off and they simply fell off. She said that people are really interested and repulsed at the same time, but despite the fact she herself is very proud of it and sees it as a step up the evolutionary ladder, 
saying, I feel like we're one step ahead, a sign of things to come. Another celebrity who has a tale to tell about his finger is Matthew Perry. Even the biggest Friends fan is unlikely to have noticed it on screen, but once you know what to look out for, it's hard to miss. Matthew Perry is missing a part of his middle finger. It happened in a freak accident when the actor was only three years old. His finger was slammed in a nursery door. I hope three is too young to remember that. Are you ready for another hand story? Yep. There's another celebrity with an odd finger, and it's Denzel Washington. He used to play American football and dislocated it so many times that it would pop out if he held his hand a certain way. His kids used to call it Magic Finger and would ask him to show the trick to their friends, which obviously caused a terrifying glee. He did, however, have it surgically fixed and has lost his magic finger. Cameron Diaz has been Hollywood's darling for over two decades now and has countless successful movies under her belt, her first being The Mask. This movie not only shot her name to stardom, but was also her very first acting job. Until then, she worked as a model and had never had even a small acting job before. So it's therefore even more impressive that she held her own against the legend that is Jim Carrey. Rachel Bilson's mum has the strangest job we have heard of. Her mother is a licensed sex therapist. The actress revealed that her mother knew exactly when she lost her virginity because she's a counsellor who specialises in that area and let's just say she's a little intuitive. Talk about awkward. Another actor whose mother had an unusual job is Christian Bale whose mother was a circus performer. Because of this his family had to move around quite a bit and they ended up living in England, Portugal, United States, but the actor remembers perks of being part of circus life. He said I'd be in a caravan with beautiful women who would walk around naked, except for fishnets and peacock hairdressers. Uma Thurman's dad, on the other hand, is a Tibetan Buddhist monk, and in fact was the first Westerner to be ordained into the religion. He is now an Indo-Tibetan Buddhist studies professor at Columbia University. Stephen Baldwin looks like a serious tough guy, and you'd assume he has tattoos to match his macho image. But as it turns out, this dad would do anything for his daughter, even if that entailed getting a Hannah Montana tattoo. The star admitted he got the tattoo because his daughter, Hayley Bieber, was Hannah Montana fan and Miley Cyrus had promised him a cameo role on the show to impress his daughter if he got a Hannah Montana initials tattoo. He held up his part of the deal, but it doesn't look as if Miley did, as he never did appear on her show. His daughter Hayley was also a big Justin Bieber fan, so he arranged for his then 13 year old daughter to meet the superstar. They even have a picture of the meeting, and who would have thought then that the kids would grow up and be happily married? Did you manage to guess which celebrity was named after a department store? If you said Halle Berry, then you're correct. She was born Maria Halle Berry. Halle as a tribute to Grand Halle Building, which housed Halle Brother Department Store. And when she was five years old, her name was legally changed to Halle Maria Berry. Jack Nicholson lived the first four decades of his life not knowing the biggest secret until an investigator called him to confirm some of the details for his article he was writing and told him that who he believed to be his sister, June, was actually his mother and who he thought were his parents, in turn, turned out to be his grandparents. Quite a revelation to find out about oneself. But at that time his mother and grandmother had already passed, so he couldn't get any answers on the situation. All he knew is that his mother was only 18 when she had him, not only out of wedlock, but with a married man. So his grandparents thought the best thing for family would be for them to live as if they're his parents. In an interview, Jack admitted that he wasn't traumatized by the revelation, but rather impressed by their ability to keep a secret. Before Tim Allen became the voice of Buzz Lightyear in Toy Story franchise, he was on, let's say, less kid-friendly path. In the late 70s, he was arrested at the airport by undercover police officer who found cocaine on him. He faced a life sentence for the charge, but managed to get a reduced sentence for snitching on other dealers and only had to serve two years in prison. Another celebrity arrested at the airport for illegal substance possession is Bill Murray, and it turns out it was his own foolishness that got him caught. The actor thought it's a great idea to joke to other passengers that his suitcase contains bombs. 
The airport employee didn't see the funny side of the joke and contacted US Marshals, whom found 10 pounds of marijuana in his suitcase. Luckily for Bill, he avoided prison sentence and served five years probation. Thanks for listening. Catch you later.